This is Hangar 316 at 30,000 feet. Salt and Light. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You are salt and light. A simple teaching of Jesus with clearly understood illustrations. Let's understand salt a bit better in the way it was viewed by those listening to the Sermon on the Mount. In the Lexham Bible Dictionary, we read the following overview regarding salt. Salt is one of the most common substances on the earth and cannot be destroyed by fire or time. Also known as white gold, It is one of the most significant substances in history, along with iron, gold, and wheat. In ancient societies, it was a valuable social and economic commodity. Also regarding salt as a symbol of life, in the biblical world, salt was associated with life due to its uses as a preservative, a purifying agent, and a seasoning. In the modern world, we use it primarily to bring out the best in food. But in the ancient world, its multi-use application underlies its true importance. In Jesus' light metaphor, he states that a city on a hill cannot be hidden, and a lamp is not put under a bowl. These are additional instructions on how we are made to affect the world. Author Philip Yancey tells of a social experiment that he often conducts when on flights. He'll ask the person seated next to him if they would be willing to say what they think when they hear the term Christian. Their answers usually fall in a range from judgmental to unloving. Ouch. It seems as if that is their general response, then maybe we have somehow missed our role as being salt and light. The majesty of the word of God is that though Jesus was speaking to a crowd 2,000 years ago, his words today are just as relevant to us. And are we not needed to be salt and light more than ever? In a world that seems to be dividing further daily, Jesus is saying, Be a seasoning, be a preservative, be salt, be light. He was saying, you are different. You're called to be different. Let's listen and be different. This is Hangar 316 at 30,000 feet, salt and light.